What's up guys, it's your boy Hima and in this video we're going to talk about Ethereum 2.0. So what is Ethereum 2.0? Will finally Ethereum be able to pass Bitcoin after this upgrade? Well, we're gonna answer all of those questions. So before we talk about Ethereum 2.0, if you don't know what Ethereum actually is, I'm gonna talk about Ethereum in this video. But just to recap, Ethereum is a network just like Facebook or Snapchat or Twitter, right? Now the good thing about Ethereum is basically Compared to Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter, Ethereum is a decentralized network that's made out of a massive supercomputer which no one owns. Though. The only people that own it are the people who are actually contributing to the network, meaning people like you and me, regular folks, you know? All right, so Ethereum 2.0 is the upgrade that they're bringing into this massive network, all right? So by bringing in this update, they're thinking of making Ethereum better, safer, more decentralized, and more scalable. And the other question you might have is Hima, so when are they gonna bring it? Like, it's not like a switch that you can download and update, voila, you have an update Ethereum. It's like repairing a plane while it's actually flying. Shoop. So it's not an easy thing. Ethereum 2.0 is a massive upgrade that's actually been happening as we speak. So they have three phases, right? Phase zero, phase one, and of course, phase two. And Ethereum people are actually saying that it will be finished by the year of 2022, which is of course next year. Hopefully Ethereum will be a super massive computer that is fully equipped to take over the world, you know, uh, by the time it's 2022. But of course, <laughs> I don't think Ethereum will take over the world. But of course, this will definitely affect the price. And I think with this update, Ethereum will actually go to a higher price because what it does is it will increase the value of the entire network uh, making it more of an asset just like Facebook or Snapchat. Yeah. Now let's talk about the three phases. So what actually is this upgrade does and what are these three phases? All right. So now phase zero is more of a thing called the beacon chain. All right. The beacon chain, not bacon, beacon. All right? um, oh man, now, now I'm hungry. I'll be right back. All right, so I had a bacon sandwich. Um, I was really hungry when I was talking about bacon, so yeah. Okay, so Beacon Chain is basically was implemented. Now remember, this update has already been implemented to the network. Its main purpose is to increase the security. Now, what does the actually Beacon Chain do? Well, let's find out. The Beacon Chain, not bacon, the beacon chain is basically there to uh, make the Ethereum network more secure by introducing proof of stake instead of proof of work. Of course, the beacon chain is not fully integrated uh, into the main network yet. They're going to do it and it's called the merger event um, and it will happen by the end of this year. And of course, the next upgrade is shard. So Ethereum is trying to tackle the blockchain trilemma, which is scalability, decentralization, and of course, security now the beacon chain is going to improve its security what about the decentralization and scalability now this is where chart chains or shards come in so sharding is a good way to scale if you want to keep things decentralized as the alternative it's to scale by increasing the size of the existing database this would make ethereum less accessible for network validators because they'd need powerful and expensive computers with shard chains, validators only need to store run data for the shard they are validating, not the entire network like what happens today. This speed things up drastically reduces the hardware requirement. And most importantly, sharding will eventually let you run Ethereum on your laptop, meaning that more people will be able to participate to the network and contribute and make money as a passive income. So it's actually a really good thing um, and that's how they're thinking of scaling the network into a bigger group of people you know making a, a, making it accessible to pretty much everyone with a laptop so if you guys are wondering why i changed my clothes is because i wanted to show you my guns you know i've been working hard actually i used to be a really fat kid um, now i'm not so i'm proud of myself proud of how my body looks uh you know i go to the gym and work out so you know you should feel good about yourself as well now that being said, like I told you, we have the uh, beacon chain and of course the shard chains. Now, pretty much these are the main attributes of the 2.0 update that Ethereum is going to have. And of course, you might be wondering, Hima, 
does this affect the gas fees because everyone is complaining that the gas fees are oh it's so expensive i can't do it it's getting expensive and people are actually looking towards alternative options as well like avalanche and algorand they're pretty much similar to ethereum um uh, as for the gas problems i think that the 2.0 version will make it more cheaper but i don't think by how much it'll be cheaper like um it could be a couple of bucks but i don't think it'll be too much but of course the gas problems and will be solved because the 2.0 update will make ethereum more faster you know um but that being said um and of course they're gonna do a thing called a merger like i told you the beacon chain is still not fully functional in the mainnet it's still um uh, operating as a beta sort of uh, and they're gonna do a merger uh with the mainnet and then with it of course they will release the shard chains and of course all of this will be completed by the end of 2022 meaning next year will this affect the ethereum price um absolutely in my personal opinion i think it will because the whole point of the 2.0 update is to make it more secure decentralized and of course more bigger meaning that people will more people will be able to join the network and of course benefit uh the realm of decentralization and of course i think ethereum being the first biggest uh network that there is uh and i think it's better better than bitcoin because bitcoin is just a decentralized app ethereum is a network um so the possibility of ethereum actually surpassing bitcoin is really high this is my personal opinion and of course you could be uh, having a different oh wait so many notifications um you could be having a different uh, opinion of course but i personally think that this will affect the ethereum price but do i own ethereum right now i do not i traded ethereum before it, uh, it was crashed before it crashed um but i'm waiting for a really nice entry point to actually buy a couple of ethereums um and hold it in the long term and of course i do have bitcoin which one of the best uh, investments i've ever made um but yeah of course i hope you guys learned something about the ethereum 2.0 and yes i think it will uh improve the price but in the future of course not uh, anytime soon but um that's about it for today's videos i hope you guys learned something and if you did hit the subscribe button and smash that like button um i'll see you guys in another video until then happy trading